Hey guys, Matt here with Miss Up Hot Sauce. Uh, I thought we'd go ahead and do a garden update today. Um, damn, I, I really wish I would have done one a little bit earlier uh, because of what happened today. And you'll find out in a minute here. But I picked these today. Pretty good. We got some Thai chilies. Some ancient orange, uh, culapenos, holy moly, banana, uh, bell pepper, and some serranos. And so that was today's haul. But oh man, I gotta, I am so bummed out about what happened. I, I swear it's it's been like. I go out and water these guys all the time and I think I might have missed like two days because of the, the rain. It's been raining out here. I'm like, oh, I don't have to water anything. I guess I could just uh, skip it for a little while. And, but then I come out today and I find a bunch of freaking hornworms. I hate hornworms so bad what they did look they ate my serrano oh man and I've been spraying them regularly too and it's just like I swear it's been two days since I've been out here the rain must have washed away all the whatever I sprayed on it the worm killer stuff uh, and so it left it unaffected or uneffective and then this happens look at that this is my scorpion my scorpions are dead it's got one little leaf left guy I hope these if these things sprout back I'm gonna be so happy I hope they do so I am so upset right now look they started picking um, what is this I think it's my seven pot and uh, they started eating it up real bad. But luckily this one still has some leaves on it. But you can see their little freaking turds on the ground. And they look like little grenades. So hey, if you got a garden and you are wondering why your plant looks like this, then all you need to do is look for these little disgusting grenades all over the ground and that's what and then you gotta inspect that plant thoroughly because little hornworms they hide really well and you can't see them very well and sometimes you have to look it over like three times and then you'll find it like they're really hard to find even though they're like pretty decent sized worms uh, you really need to thoroughly checked because it blends in and like camouflages in with the plant so hopefully I don't have any in this one I don't think I do all right I mean all the other ones are doing pretty good there's just there's just some that were being eaten up and, and the other ones seem fine I can't I couldn't find any in these guys I don't see any turds on the ground so there was a lot of them too I must have picked off like uh, how many did I pick off? Like eight. Probably like eight of them. And look at this. That's my white ghost. It's like it's completely dead. I don't know if that'll come back. I mean, that's that ain't looking good. No, 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 no. I hate hornworms so much. Seriously, check your plants all the time. Especially if you're in South Carolina. I did not know that. I've never even seen a hornworm before. Let's see what little freaking turds. I never even seen it before until I moved here. Never even heard of the things. But here they are. Oh, there's one of them. See, I missed one. Look at that. Oh bastard, I'm gonna get you. 
So that's what a hornworm looks like. They are horrible, horrible things. And they make little quickie sounds. And they don't give a crap. They just eat all your stuff and poop everywhere. God, I hate them. Alright, I'm gonna get to that guy later. I don't see any on these. These are too small anyway. These plant these ones over here weren't doing very good. And this is actually zucchini. And I have yet to get one zucchini off of this thing. I don't know why. It's just not doing good. So I guess uh I'll have to stick with my store bought zucchini this year. That sucks. I actually got two plants this time thinking that it was gonna do something. But yeah, look at that. Now they're like all the progress, you know, we've gone back here because of these stupid worms. So, check, check your plants. Yep, I picked a worm off of this one, and one of the ones over here. And who knows, there's probably still some hiding in there. Check your plants. Anyway, a lot of this, thankfully, is doing good. Some of it, some of the leaves were missing, but I think I found them all, and I'm doing a spray down, like, right after this. Yeah, I got uh, a mixture of the, uh, uh, what do you call that, BT or something? I think it's called BT. It's like this really disgusting green fluid, and it's supposed to, it's supposed to be natural. Thuride, I think is what it's called. BT, thuride. And, uh. This stuff will kill them. And so it's good to do a little spray. You don't want to overdo it. Just a little bit. And hopefully that'll keep them away. I also mix a little neem oil in here too because I know a lot of other bugs don't like neem oil. So but you gotta you gotta shake it really good. Um, and dilute it with a pretty good amount of water. All right, any, everyone, um, hope this was informative, and I don't know if you just were interested in seeing the plants, but uh, hey, thanks for checking in, and uh, hopefully the next video I do will be a good positive update and more peppers. So we'll see what happens. Have a good one, guys. Peace.